This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a closer look at some of today's top stories. New information after a deadly shooting in Lincoln Heights Monday night. Deputies say 48-year-old Henry Jennings was shot and killed after barging into someone's home. Jennings was allegedly involved in a domestic incident nearby when he crashed his car on Chamberlain Avenue. Deputies say his passenger cut his neck in that attack. As Jennings was trying to get away, well, that's when he entered a home without permission and was killed by the homeowner who was watching TV and feared for his life. Deputies say charges will not be filed against the homeowner. A northern Kentucky woman is facing murder charges in the shooting death of a man walking home from work in Covington last month. Police say 31-year-old Latoya Dale was arrested last week and charged with murder and robbery in this case. She admits to being present while 60-year-old Virgil Stewart was shot on the 15th Street Bridge, but she says she did not fire the weapon. The person who allegedly did has been identified, but he has not yet been charged since he's currently in jail on unrelated charges. The Hamilton County judge who issued an order last week temporarily blocking Ohio's six-week abortion ban now plans to issue a second two-week block. That's according to parties in this lawsuit. The ruling from Common Pleas Judge Christian Jenkins stems from the lawsuit brought by the ACLU of Ohio on behalf of abortion providers in the state. They argue the heartbeat law violates the state's constitution. Once issued, the judge's order would block the heartbeat law until October 14th. Let's send things over to Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Get you updated on your nine first warning forecast. Steve? Yeah, Craig, as we look at things warm and muggy tonight, temperatures uh, falling to the mid to upper 60s. So it's going to be a warm night ahead. And then just a hot day tomorrow and humid 91, feeling like the mid 90s with the heat indices around the tri state. We do have some rain set after about 6, 7, and into the evening hours for tomorrow night. We'll see some showers and isolated storms are possible. Then a few leftover showers Thursday. The big news is the drop in temperatures that will feel toward the end of the week and then temperatures stay somewhat seasonal into next week.